Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you guys a variety of workouts you'll be able to achieve on one machine and that is the Smith machine. Usually every gym has a Smith machine and the Smith machine is great if you want to isolate a certain muscle group in your body. Also, if you're in a time crunch and want to stay at one location at the gym and finish all your workouts, this video will be perfect for you. So with that being said, let's get on to the video. So I'm going to begin with the regular squats. So your head should be facing forward, chest should be held up, the bar should be held on the top of your traps, not your neck, and then just squatting down as low as I can. Next up is going to be a sumo squat. So here you're going to place your feet in a wider than shoulder width stance and have your toes slightly pointed out and your knees slightly bent and you're just going to squat on down. Moving on to a close stance squat, here you're going to place your feet together. Um, your feet should be slightly out in front of you and you're going to bend your knees and then squat down. This exercise targets the outer thighs, quads, glutes and hamstrings. The reverse lunge is next, so you're going to stand upright with the smith machine resting on your traps. You're going to step backwards with one leg and lower your body down to a lunge and then push back up to a standing position and repeat on each leg. Moving on to another variation of a lunge, which is a curtsy lunge, you're going to start at a standing position. Initiate the movement by shifting your weight to your right foot, lifting your left from the ground while keeping your torso facing forward. You're going to place your left leg right behind you, taking a wide and lateral step behind the front leg and lunge down. This exercise is going to target your quads. The next exercise I'm going to be showing you is a lunge to a squat. This one can be a little bit tricky so I would suggest to go slow and controlled. So you're basically going to lunge down and then squat. I added a platform in front of me just so I could go deeper in my lunge and my squat so feel free not to add that. I really hate working on my calves, but your calves need love, so hey. Here I'm going to be showing you a calf raise. Um, this is the first variation, which is just a normal calf raise. On this set of calf raises, my toes are angled outward, which emphasizes the inner head of the calves. And on this next set, my toes are going to be angled inward, and this emphasizes the outer head of the calves. I know what you guys are thinking. Another reverse back lunge? Yes, but this one is just a bit different from the one I showed you guys earlier. If you guys recall, I was just lunging in place. And here I'm just taking a back lunge and then bringing it back up. <laughs> the 
This next exercise is a bit challenging, so go slow and controlled. Go light on weight as well. Um, even go no weight at all if you feel like you need to. Um, so you're going to go from a kneeling squat to a squat and then to another squat, making sure you squeeze up at all times. The next movement is going to be a kneeling squat. These are a bit awkward and ridiculous, but they're so good for the booty. Um, so you're gonna have your head looking forward. You're gonna unrack the weight and sit back with your butt till it touches your calves. Moving on to a Smith Machine single leg stiff deadlift. Wow, that is a mouthful. <laughs> so you're gonna begin by setting the bar to the lowest setting. You're gonna position yourself standing up straight with a straight back. Resting the bar on your thighs, you're going to bend at the hips, lowering the barbell straight down close to your body. Lower the bar down as far as the hamstrings will let you. Now engage the hamstrings and begin to raise the bar straight back up. You should definitely feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Finally, making it to the last exercise, this is a pulse squat. So I'm just doing three pulses, two, three, and then squatting up and squeezing the glutes at the top. So that concludes the end of my video hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful as always comment down below any video suggestions you might have for me i will be uploading a video once a week so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you won't ever miss a video with me till next time bye